everyone, my name is Mary and this is Quinn Inc. and this is part two of the Pink Passion Box. Um, in this one, you're going to learn how to crochet up the side of your box and start making it into an actual box. And then we're also going to learn how to make some handles. And hopefully we're also going to learn how to do the border. Alrighty, so let's get started with part two. Alrighty, so I'm on the second flap. I'm on row four. And I'm two stitches away from the end. And another thing I'd also like to remind you is when you're crocheting with these two stitches, two pieces of yarn and a large hook, take the time to stretch out your hands because I know sometimes your fingers can get a little cramped and tired. And so you don't want to just keep crocheting and crocheting and crocheting. Take a break every once in a while and just stretch out your hands. Um, I normally take at least about a 30 minute break when I'm crocheting a big project. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to fasten off. And I normally just like to pull my yarn through and then just give it a nice little tight tug. Okay, so we have done the four flaps. Well, actually the two flaps is what we originally did. So the next thing that we're going to do is, is we're now going to grab our white yarn and we're going to single crochet up the sides and turn this into a cute little box. But I'm going to show you how to do one side and then you're just going to repeat that doing all the rest of the sides. We're going to grab our white yarn. Okay, so I have the white yarn, and the reason why we are doing white yarn is because if you look at the original one I did, you're going to have this cute little ridge on the side. And I did it on all four corners. So that is why I'm doing this in white to give the box a cute little ridge. So what you're going to want to do is take a look at your bag and find out where your ridged row is. So mine is going to be right here on this side when I pull it up. So I'm going to pull this side up like so and I'm going to turn it. There we go. I'm going to kind of fold it like this so that way I can see this and then I'm going to get my white yarn and my large hook and we are actually going to go into the bottom right here so I'm actually going to go down here on the bottom as you can see where it folds and I'm going to let's see here put my hook into this one and then we're going to want to put it right in here so that's where we're going to put it is I put it on the ridge row and then on the other side I put it right here where it bends. And you're going to have kind of like this little piece right here and that's okay. And then we're going to take our white yarn and we're going to fold it around our hook like this and I'm actually going to pull through both of those. And I'm going to tie a knot onto this. So that way it is now secure. And I'm going to put my hook back through those two holes. And I'm going to grab my working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab my working yarn and chain one. And now we're going to single crochet back into those two holes grabbing our working yarn and pulling through. And this is pretty much how you single crochet along a side. So I'm a little sorry that it's hard to kind of see. So then the next piece is you're going to start finding spaces that are even with the next side. So I think I'm going to go into this one right here. And then we're going to go into this piece right here. And grab the working yarn and pull through and this one is a little bit difficult so you are going to want to take this one very slowly so you're going to go 
I'm going to go into this piece right here. And then I'm going to go into this piece across. It kind of looks like it. Grab my working yarn and pull it blue. And then pull right straight through too. And as you can see, it's starting to form a ridge. Now we're almost at the very top. And if you don't want this little ridge, you don't have to have it. You can actually take your needle and some yarn and whip stitch it. Now I'm going to go into this little space right here and then I'm going to try and go into this space over here wherever the yarn allows me to put my hook and then I'm just going to grab my yarn sorry grab my yarn and just pull right through and this is all I'm doing and then I'm going to do it one more time into this hole. And it looks like one more time into that one. So I'm actually going into the stitches. And I'm going to try and grab it. And another thing is too, if it's difficult to grab, pull through one hole like this. Then grab the loop and pull through the second one. And then finish the stitch. Just like that. And that is how you do a ridged row. And it looks like we got to the very top of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to slip stitch. So I'm going to go back into those two stitches, grab the working yarn and pull through. And instead of making a single crochet, I'm just going to take this loop and pull it right through. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to make it a little longer, and I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to take my yarn, and I'm going to whoop, pull up on it a little bit, and pull right through. Just like that. And that is how you do a ridged row. So, you will be doing that for all four corners. And I did this one in white. If you would like to, you can do yours in pink. Or you can do white and pink and white and pink. That would be kind of cute. So that's how you do ridge row. Okay, so I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to show you what the box looks like. Alrighty. So I finished the four sides, as you can see. And if you would like, your box is pretty much done. If not compared to this one I have a piece right here in the middle to separate your crochet hooks to all of your other stuff that you would like to put if not you can actually just leave it the way it is and I'll show you real quick this is what it looks like without that piece in the middle so you have your crochet hooks I have my tape measure two of them actually some containers with stitch markers, um, these ones are my needles, and these are the strings, and then of course some thread. So if you would like, you can leave it like this, or as an option, I'm going to show you how to also put this little middle piece in the middle right here for your crochet hooks and all your stuff. And we're also going to add some handles, so that way you can carry this with you wherever you go. So if you want to carry it to your bedside table, um, if you want to take it with you in the living room, the dining room, or even to your desk. Or, if you want, you can also carry it with you in the car. I'm going to show you how to do the next part, which is this middle part. And then I'm going to show you how to put some handles on it. Now this piece for this box isn't going to be this big. Um, this one turned out a little bit funky where it kind of rounded off. I kind of think of it more like a garden box. Okay, so if you'd like to stick around, we're going to do the middle section and the two handles and then your box is completely done. The pink passion box will be finished. Okay, so let's get to the next part. Okay, so I'm back, and now we're going to put the handles on our little basket. 
I can get a good view of it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is once you've done all your sides and you've crocheted up the side of them, the next thing that you're going to want to do is figure out where you're going to want to put your handles. So if you want to put them on this side or this side. So what I like to do is look inside of my basket and look at my stitches. So as I can see these double crochet, excuse me, half double crochet stitches right here and they're pointing this way, I'm going to put my, I'm actually going to put them on this one right here. So this is the one where we had crocheted the flap onto the body of our basket. So you're going to turn your basket towards this way. Um, you're going to grab your yarn and we're going to join it into the side right here. And you're just going to pull the yarn straight through. And then I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, so in order to start your handles, we're going to chain one and we're going to do half double crochet stitches like we've been doing in the past. So we're going to start the half double crochet stitches and we're just going to start half double crocheting across the top of our basket. Just like this. Until we get to the middle portion. And I think I'm going to have double crochet one more time. So I'm going to do four half double crochets. And then once I get into the middle, I'm going to look at my stitches and figure out how big I am going to want my handles to be. So if I want them pretty tall or if I'm going to want them kind of short. And then I'm going to have to figure out how many stitches I'm going to want to go. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to count one, two, three, four. So this is where I'm going to want to stop. And these stitches in the middle are the ones that I'm going to skip. So let me grab some stitch markers and we're going to put a marker right here on this stitch. Okay, so I couldn't find any stitch markers, but I found this paper clip. So we're just going to put the paper clip right here onto our stitch like this. And then we're going to count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to want to chain seven stitches to get to the other side. So when you start chaining, you're going to grab your yarn and just pull it through and pull up a little bit of slack. And I'm going to keep doing this. And your stitches do not have to be tight. They can be loose. So, so far I have three. One, two, three. So this one is going to be four, five, six, and seven. There we go. So seven stitches. You're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, go into where that stitch marker is, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, grab your yarn and finish off with a half double crochet. And there is our uh, little handle. And then I'm just going to move that stitch marker off to the side and I'm going to half double crochet four stitches across. Two, three, and four. And that is what our handle looks like. Now if you'd like to, you can actually chain more stitches and make the handle a little bit taller if you'd like. 
or shorter. I liked the way that this one looks because it's about the length of my four fingers so I can put them right through. Okay, so next we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our basket and we're just going to work half double crochets back over to our chain stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to half double crochet four, one, two, three, and one more into this stitch. So I always want to have those four stitches. Now that we have this chain, you can do one of two things. You can either crochet into the chain like this, or if you'd like, you can actually crochet around the chain. So you'll take your hook and you'll put it under the chain and grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your yarn and pull through all three. Grab too much yarn there. Round the chain just like this. Okay, and because we had seven stitches, we're going to half double crochet seven across. Counting my stitches, one, two, three. And you can also pull your stitches back a little bit like this to get them to fit on top of that chain. four, here's five, oops, here's six, and one last one makes seven. Okay, and then we're going to now have four half double crochets across. So one, two, making sure that you always grab both of your yarns. So that's two, three, and one last one right here. And that one will be four. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my hook, turn my box over, and we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like. Now it is gonna be a little bit taller than the rest of the basket as you can see. So this one is going to be a little bit taller. Um, what you can do is, is you can also crochet around the box as well. If you want it to make it the same length as your handles, or if you like it this tall, I think that would be fine as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna leave it just like this. You can also do another row on top of here of single crochet as well. So all you'll do is take your yarn, chain one, go into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull up two loops, grab your yarn and pull through two. And you can actually single crochet across the top of your handles. So this is another way you can also
finish off the top of your handle with single crochets, giving it that nice finished edging. So I'm going to single crochet across the top, just like this, working my way to the very end. Trying to go slow and always grabbing two pieces of yarn. And one last one at the end here. And there we are. And that is what your handle is going to look like. And when you turn it around, it will be taller than the rest of your basket. But normally you're going to be grabbing from the front. That's why I like to make it kind of short. And you can always fold over your handles like this. So that way they're kind of out of the way until you need them again. So I'm going to do the other side over here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so... I am done with the second side as you can see looks exactly like the first one that we had done and I sewed in all the strings so what you can do is fold these little handles over and as I did on my second basket as you can see here we have this middle portion right here so that way you can have your crochet hooks in one side and you can have all your tools on the other side and they don't mix. Then we're also going to do a border around the basket in white. So we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to grab our crochet hooks and we're going to do a border around the whole basket. That should finish it off and for an option I'll show you how to do the middle portion. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a spot right here to join my yarn. Tie a knot and I'm going to do single crochet all the way around the basket. I'm going to pull up a loop and we're going to chain one. Now into this stitch that I have joined into we are actually going to do three single crochets and go down the basket. So we're going to work down the side. So we're going to make our first single crochet, turn our basket, make a second single crochet, and then I'm going to make one more single crochet. And this is going to allow me to turn the corner of our basket, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to be working down the side of our handles. And you can actually crochet in these little tails. So like I said before, we're just going to find spaces along the side of our basket like I just did there and because now you're working with one string instead of two it's going to be a little easier and I think I'm going to go right into this stitch right here and single crochet and I'm just going to keep finding spaces where I can put my crochet hook into trying to make them nice and even while also crocheting over my tails. Okay, so we've come to the corner piece right here. And all I'm going to do is, is put my hook into this space, grab onto this, put my hook into this space, grab onto this, and pull through all three loops. Now I just made a decrease in this corner 
And the reason why I'm doing a decrease is to keep from that becoming a big massive space or too many stitches and it looking funny. So you're going to go into that space, pull up a loop, you're going to go over this piece right here and go into the next space that you can find on the basket and pull up a loop, grab your yarn and pull through all three to make a decrease in this corner. I'm going to turn my basket around and now I'm working on this side. Now the nice thing about this side is that you actually have stitches. So you're just now going to be single crocheting into each stitch on the top. Just like this. Each stitch all the way to the end. And again in this corner you're going to also make another decrease. So you're going to go into this space right here and grab a loop. Go into this space, grab a loop, and pull through all three to close it off. And as you can see, I closed that off real nicely as we were working down the side. And this is going to give you a really nice border all the way around your little pink passion box. So I'm just going to crochet to the other side and then I'm going to show you how to do that decrease one more time. And then I'm going to finish off doing all the rest of the sides, come back and show you how it looks. Okay, I'm almost to that side. One more stitch. Okay, so now here we are at this stitch right here. I'm going to zoom it in so you can see this. So as you can see, I just put my single crochet into there. I have a space right here, so I'm going to go into that space, grab my yarn, pull up a loop. Go over this white piece, pull it down with my finger, and there's another space. And go into there, grab my working yarn, and pull up a loop. Now I have three loops on my hook. And grab my working yarn and pull through all three loops. And that will be a decrease, single crochet decrease. Now I'm going to be working up the side. And it doesn't matter where you put your hook, how many stitches, but remember when you get to the top corner piece right here, which is a stitch, you're going to want to put three single crochets and that will help you to turn the corner. So one, two, and here's number three. And there you go. Nice turning of a corner. And you're going to do that for each corner that you reach. For this corner right here and for this corner right here. Three single crochets. In the corners down here, you're going to do a single crochet decrease and a single crochet decrease. So I'm going to finish up my border and when I come back, the next thing we are going to work on is going to be this middle section. Now it's not going to be uh, rounded like this. So I will show you how to do that and how to sew it into your box if you would like that as an option. All of these are options so you don't have to do um, the handles, you don't have to do the border, you can just leave the box as it is like this if you'd like. That's a cute little box as well and you can actually just put all your tools and crochet hooks and anything else you'd like in this. But I'm just showing you cute little options um, such as handles for carrying it from one place to the next, a cute little border to give you that little finishing touch. Okay, so I'm going to finish the border and I will be back. Okay, so we're back and I am two stitches away from finishing. So I wanted to show you how to finish off. So I'm going to single crochet into the last two stitches. One and two. Now we're at the very beginning where we did those three single crochets in the corner. 
you're going to find the first single crochet right here and you're going to put your hook right into that very top stitch and get your hook in there grab your working yarn and pull up a loop we're not going to finish off with a single crochet we're just going to go back through that first loop and make a slip stitch and that is how you are going to finish off your border and then you're just going to cut your yarn and what I like to do is wrap my yarn around my hook pull back through that loop and pull it through and pull it nice and tight just like that alright so I finished the border on this wonderful basket the pink passion basket and I wanted to come back and show you what it looks like so you have a nice finishing border with a couple of handles so you can carry it with you alrighty so that was part two of the pink passion box now we're going to move on to part three so I will I hope that I get to see you in part three of our pink passion box and we can finally finish it with crocheting making the border and sewing it into our box so I will see you all in part three